the studio with, I gotta say, uh, New Orleans' own Lloyd. What's poppin', Lloyd? Man, no nominations, no awards from the awards this year or last year or the year before that or the year before that. So I'm out with a vengeance this week. Man, out with a vengeance. this album on Tuesday. I got a lot to prove. I got a lot to get off my shoulders. And um, I just want to say that um, I, I can say confidently that I feel like I'm going to have a number one album next week. Mm -hmm. And um, it's got a lot to do with the city. So I love the city. Shout out to the city. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to apologize to all the fathers of, of the daughters that I'm corrupting uh -huh. uh, on Tuesday. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, I don't mean no harm, but... That's just what we do in my family, man. From uncles to cousins, I mean, we all play boys. So, um, man, just happy to, to be here, man. I hope everybody having a great Fourth of July weekend. And Essence mm -hmm. Festival is just popping right now. It's, it's hot as hell outside, but hot. it's all good because we bring in more heat. More heat. And that's, it's funny because I feel like a sense of change with you right now. I mean, you cut your hair, you know, you left, uh, you left Murder, Inc. And then, like, now, like, the singles, when I heard it lay it down, in August, I was like, dang, that album, that song is dope. But then I heard the Patti LaBelle remix on that, so how did, how did that feel? It's just more aggressive. It's just, um, it's different, I guess, in the fact that we're singing out more, you know? Mm -hmm. um, a, lot of, a lot of my family uh, and friends that I have, they would say, you know, you can really sing, so mm -hmm. why you don't ever let people hear that side of you? Right. And I just usually be so cool and laid back. Mm -hmm. um, so with this one, I just wanted to take a different approach. I want right. a new energy. I got a new crew. Mm -hmm. I got a new look. But all of right. that really just reflects the new the new feeling that I have mm -hmm. on the inside. You know, what you can see is just reflection right. on what's in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us about the new album. King of Hearts come out Tuesday, right? Yeah. Who you got on it? Well, you know? It starts off with Game. Game introduces the album okay. uh, with a verse, freestyle verse. And then it goes mm -hmm. in a song called Dedication to My Ex. Mm -hmm which is like uh, our ode to the uh, ladies in our life that cheated on us. Right. You know, while we was yeah. on the road, uh, of course, Wayne was in prison. So I put Wayne on there. He's like, you know, when he was away, she cheated uh, on him. And then Andre 3000 uh, takes the verse at the end. So mm -hmm. that's how it's, it kind of starts the album off real real crazy, mm -hmm. um, up-tempo. Then it goes into Cupid, mm -hmm. which is real hot right now. Tearing up the charts, like I gotta say. A lot of people been calling about Cupid. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like ghetto Cupid. Uh -huh. you know, it's not the quintessential... <laughs> You know, a uh, white guy with right, an arrow. Right, right, know? yeah. Um, so, happy about Cupid. From Cupid, we go into Love Me Girl, which is me, mm -hmm. Chris Brown, mm -hmm. and um, who's a good friend of mine, and this beautiful young lady. She's new. She's Her name is Vega. Vega. She's like a, a younger, newer version of uh, J Lo. You okay. know, she's got uh, the Latina feel. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm happy about that. Then we go into a track called Naked, Naked. which is real sensual. It's real slow. It's for the mm -hmm. bedroom. Mm -hmm. A lot of babies will be born to that yeah. song nine months from now. Um, from Nicky, we go in, um, into a song called Bang with Two Chains, who's mm -hmm. a friend of mine from Atlanta. Okay. Um, I got Trey Songz and Young Jeezy on a track called Beat of One. Yeah. He's got I a video. Released. I just shot a video for Monday in okay. LA after the awards. We had about six hours uh -huh. to shoot, so we all got into this abandoned warehouse and just made yeah. the most of it, man. Uh -huh. So it's going to be crazy. Jeezy uh, just shot his part yesterday in Atlanta. Okay. Uh, let me see. I got. Um, a track called You Part 2 on there, that's a playoff of the first oh, unit that I wrote. Dope, huh? um, there's a song called Angels, that's uh, me playing the piano and singing. My mm -hmm. first time I've ever done that on okay. an album. Mm -hmm. um, there's a track called um, World Cry that ends the album. The album ends with a song called World Cry, which is me, R. Kelly, and Carrie Hilson. Oh, and the motivation behind the song was, I hate to see the whole world cry, you mm -hmm. know. If it was up to me, I would wipe the tears from from their eyes. I hate to see the world cry. So when we was making this song, um, it was so powerful that in order to get motivated, um, I took I took myself into a back room, put up some YouTube clips mm -hmm. of like third world countries, people who were affected by poverty, children who were um, malnutrition, mm -hmm. you know, the after effects of, of the hurricane mm -hmm. uh, here. Right. And um, I, you know, I say with pride that I shed a few tears. Right. Like, um, when I recorded the song, you can feel that. And then R. Kelly, of course, uh, is a big inspiration of mine. Yeah, how did that feel to work with R. Kelly? Because I know he went on your uh, Lay It Down uh, remix, correct? Yeah, yeah, for the remix I uh -huh. did with R. Kelly and Young Jeezy. Uh -huh. um, you know, anytime you get to work with people who you grew up listening to, mm -hmm. you know, these are the people who kind of made you believe in, in, in music and, right. you know, just the dream of you know, being successful, being an entertainer. Mm -hmm. um, and just the fact that here I am, you know, a young artist myself, 
and I have the blessings of R. Kelly, of, okay. of Patti LaBelle. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's kind of overwhelming, you know, you got to pinch yourself to make sure you're not dreaming. Mm -hmm. But I think that it's a reflection of the music, of the quality, and of the person behind the music, which is myself, you know, and what I kind of stand for. So, mm -hmm. you know, just shout out to him for, for being a part of it, and shout out to Chris Brown and Trey Songz as well, because this is the first time that you've ever heard the three of us Together. on one project yeah. when we're so close uh, in comparison all the time. But and, and it's dope because I just want to say like right now, you know, with you, Chris Brown, like y'all like the new generation like of R and B now. Like remember back in the day it was like R. Kelly. You know, he's still he's still hot, but right now yeah, well, it's on the radio. For somebody who's never been nominated for a BT award, mm -hmm. I, I feel like I'm amongst the best mm -hmm. uh, of my generation. You know, um, I think me, Trey, and Chris. It's pretty much, you know, the top three to elite. Right. And so I went out to get them because, one, um, I wanted people to hear the difference in our styles, mm -hmm. you know, um, because people always try to compare yeah. you to somebody right. else and we're mm -hmm. so different and unique. Mm -hmm. I wanted people to hear that. And then for two, I think it's just like when you're playing sports. Right. And you have the best people on your team mm -hmm. and make you play better. Exactly. It elevates your game. So when you hear the songs, when you hear me and Chris on a song, you kind of hear us battling each other, mm -hmm. trying to see who could come harder, who could hit the, the right. coolest, the coolest ad right, you know, that's right, that kind uh, of thing. And that's even how it is when we all hang out. Mm -hmm. You can see people checking each other out, oh, what you wearing, what he got, right. his shirt tight, yeah. oh, what's going on the back <laughs> of your neck, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, working with those guys, um, being the first person to bring us all together, you know, it's just everything I wanted to do with this album. I wanted to really just do something unexpected. I wanted to do something um, that would be kind of unforgettable, mm -hmm. and I wanted it to be real strong. Uh, that's why I came out with Lay It Down. I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be real strong, you know, mm -hmm. from the gate. So hopefully, you know, Lay It Down and Keep It uh, is enough to make people want to go out Tuesday after the fourth uh, and, and grab the album. Hopefully, y'all don't eat too much and get the itis and fall asleep. Right, because it's, it's like I said. I just feel like I don't. I just feel like a growth in your music right now. Like, like I said, you know, you had the South Side, you know, the first, CD, the first CD South Side, then you had, I mean, just the, all the albums and like this one. Like I said, I've heard the singles and they just sound dope, man. Like honestly, I, I they just real good right now, especially Thanks. the Cupid one. Thanks, man. Yeah, and are you doing any acting or anything coming up or trying to get on the big? Oh well, 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 you know, I've been real focused on just the album. You know, Tuesday, July fifth is kind of everything I've been living for. So maybe after, mm -hmm. I'll look into some stuff. Um, but all my friends who do acting and music, they always tell me to just do one thing at a time mm -hmm. and perfect that. Um, so, you know, right now I'm just focused on the music. And then right after the album comes out, I tour with Lil Wayne oh, okay. July 13th. And we'll be touring almost for the rest of the year, I feel like. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to pretty much be, you know, consumed with, with King of Hearts okay. for a while. And so we're going to... Um I'm just gonna announce that uh, Tuesday, July 5th is Lloyd King of Hearts Day, and then uh, tomorrow you're gonna be re performing at the Republic. Or oh, well, I'm doing the I'm release party at Republic. Mm -hmm. um, me and I believe is Chris 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 coming Chris up Paul. there. Chris Paul is gonna be in the building with me. Mm -hmm. That's my brother, and uh, we're gonna bring the city out. You know, we're gonna do um, everything we want to do on a, on a, what a Sunday. People gotta go to work on. People ain't gotta go to work on Monday. Fourth of July. Fourth of July. 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 Yeah, we are gonna let it hang out, man. And um, I really look forward to, to tomorrow night just being, you know, something to remember. Man, someone just handed me the album real quick. Andre three thousand. How did you work? I mean, Andre like that's dope. Well, I grew up in Atlanta. I mean, mm -hmm. I was born here. You know, a lot of my heritage is here. My my history is here. But uh, a lot of my influence comes from Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. You know, and Growing up there, you know, you listen to a lot of Andre 3000, a lot of Outkast, and you know, I think that he knows that, mm -hmm. that I grew up, you know, admiring him, and mm -hmm. you know, he's heard Lay It Down, just like we, you know, the rest of, of us, and right. I think he, he, although he is real selective, he's real picky, mm -hmm. I think he likes a good song, just like me and you, right. and the song is real, it's so crazy that... Mm -hmm. When he heard it, I don't think he could deny it. This is the second time I worked with Andre. The first okay. time was a remix that I did for you, okay. uh, which was Andre and Nas. Okay, yeah, I remember the that. First time, yeah. yeah. So, you know, and then I think Andre, in my opinion, is the best rapper to come from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You know, he's my favorite. 
So dope. I just wanted, to, I just wanted to, I just wanted to do something different. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, then, and I know you're in New Orleans. I know Set Me Free isn't on an album, but how did it feel <laughs> working with Mystical? Well, la album? last time I was in New Orleans, or oh, one of the last times I was in New Orleans, I was shooting a video. Uh, in the Calio for a track called Set Me Free, mm -hmm. uh, which was Mystical's first feature track right. uh, since being released from prison. Mm -hmm. And again, man, you know, um, I had my good friend Wild Wayne uh, reach out to Mystical for mm -hmm. me. Um, and I just expressed to him how I grew up listening to his music and if there's anything I could do to inspire him mm -hmm. to want to get back into doing what he loves so much after being away for so long, right. you know. And that's what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. And I sent him the music. And when I came down, we came down to do do an event. He couldn't. It was for Mardi Gras, actually. He came mm -hmm. down to do Mardi Gras. He couldn't leave uh, Baton Rouge. Okay. Right? Was that where he was at? In Baton Rouge. He couldn't leave Baton Rouge because he was still on um, house arrest. House arrest. Mm -hmm. So we had to record it right there in the city. So I went out there, worked with him, worked with KLC, yeah. you know, the legendary producer right. and Beast by the Pound. Mm -hmm. And um, it was one of the best experiences of my life, mm -hmm. you know. And shout out to Mr. Cool, who is out here doing his thing now. He's able to tour, um, and he's a real good friend of mine. Yeah, once again, ladies and gentlemen, Lloyd in the building. Uh, his new CD, King of Hearts, come out Tuesday. You got anything else you want to say? Well, I don't like goodbyes, yeah. so I'll say I'll see you later. All right, that's what's um, up. And, and I, yeah, I brought, I brought the album here just, mm -hmm. you know, hoping that we could maybe debut um, some, some new stuff. Songs yeah. On radio. yeah, for the people. All right, we're gonna play. We're gonna get into that, okay. and then we just we're gonna chop it up. All right, cool. Thanks so much. Thanks, Steve. All right, I think DC gonna have to put.